Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. This is Colleen with Cards by Coco, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have a fun card to share with you today. So if you bounced on a few minutes earlier, you would have seen me do a trial because my phone said, oh, voice enable. And so I was practicing, but I didn't realize I was live. I thought I was on the only me setting. Anyway, <laughs> again, my name is Colleen Light. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you from Kalama, Washington. So today's going to be a fun day. We're going to be working with this beautiful balloons bundle. This is the fabulous um, stamp set. You get 16 stamps. You have your little ribbon, um, you know, streamer streamer thing and then all your sentiments um balloons just fun 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 and i'm going to be doing a fun fold today so i'm glad you can join me and i have to just show you there also comes with these dies and there's 13 dies i'll show you a sample i made using the tag streamers stars you name it it's there so, so much fun. Let me show you the designer series paper. I'll show you my samples, who I took this idea from, and we'll start working on today's card. So look at this. Um, this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. This is one side. And then when you flip it over, you get a more um, just basic generalized pattern. I actually love all the ombre patterns. Um, I, I love the variation in color. So this is one of my favorites um, out of the designer series paper that we currently have. And let me just remind you that right now, Stampin' Up! has their designer series paper all on sale. So if it's something you're interested in, it is through the month of June. Oh, good morning, Joan. Good morning, Tammy. So let me show you the, the fun fold we're going to make. I was nice enough, um, Kim Quaid, Quaidy from Kim Plates with Paper was nice enough to send me this card. So it's an envelope fun fold. So look at how it opens. Isn't this fun? So I said to her, I, I, I said, Kim, can I can I show your card? And she said yes. And so this is the one we're going to be making using some different designer series, um, the beautiful, bright and beautiful designer series paper. But because I needed a Father's Day card, I'll show you that sample also. So very easy to make. I think you're going to enjoy this. This is um, a sample, a different one, a happy birthday using that bright and beautiful. So it's basic. I think it would work for either a masculine birthday card um, or a um, feminine one. So I really like that. And then, of course, Father's Day is this weekend, and I've got to make my husband a card. So I pulled out my He's the Man suite, and I made this Father's Day card for him. And really, I never know what to write. <laughs> I've been married a long time. I never know what to write. So I actually took one of the die cuts from that suite and popped it on the inside like this. It has a little barbecue on this side. It has the um, Cajun Craze pattern on the outside. I did a little stamping, did a little background, added the embellishments, and called it good. So I thought this would be a fun one. I'm going to put a gift card in there. He never watches my videos. He gets a gift card all the time anyway. Even if he watched every video, he knows he's getting a gift card to Home Depot <laughs> or Lowe's or any of the big box stores. It's, you know. <laughs> so let me show you how easy this card is to make. And I've got things started. So we're going to go ahead and start with our basic white, which is five and a quarter by eight inches. And we and I scored that at four. So again, you know, when you score, you have kind of that mountain and valley. I always fold in a little towards the valley and then back on the mountain. And I'm using thick basic card, um, thick basic white cardstock. I tend to use the thick basic white cardstock for everything. And the reason why is I really like a white card base. And I was getting too confused bouncing back and forth between the regular because I only have an, I have only have so much space in my craft room. So I just tend to buy just the thick white now. So anyway, we're gonna do some embossing here, but before I do that, I need to take my lemon 
Lemon Lolly, the Dark Lemon Lolly, which is one of my very, very favorite colors now. I love all things yellow. And I'm looking for my, you know, I had it. Oh, here they are. My basic rhinestone, um, because I want to add some rhinestones to this card, but I, oops, but I didn't have the right color. Here, let me wipe that ink off of myself. And let's go ahead and just color some right here. The nice thing about these rhinestones, I always say invest in your basic rhinestones and your pearls because um, you can use your, your stamp and blend markers to make them any color you want. So I'm gonna give those an opportunity to dry. And let's move on here to emboss. I'm, let me show you the card. So for this one, I used the, let me see, what was the name of it? Twisted Rope, the Twisted Rope um, embossing folder. But this one, I think I'm going to use the painted labels. So this is what the Twisted Rope looks like. I really kind of like it, but I, I almost feel like the painted texture will look a little bit more festive. So that's the one I'm going to use. Let me grab out my stamp and emboss or my cut and emboss. My goodness, I cannot say anything right today. So let me grab out my cut and emboss machine. And for this, you need plate one and plate four. So normally I like to have things done in advance, but this, that was not going to happen today. So I apologize. And I want to line this crease up with this line here. So it really is just that easy. And, you know, it's a handmade card. So if it's not absolutely perfect, just don't worry about it. And I'm going to slide this through. You know, but I don't know how well you can see here. Let me just take this off the camera real quick and get that done. So if you're interested, if you're interested in taking advantage of that designer series paper sale, um, you can add that to the starter kit, which is also a really good deal right now. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Anyway, see how easy that is? Easy peasy. So then for this piece, our pattern piece, which will make our flap here, we want this at three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and you want to score it on the diagonal. So I did pre-score it, but let me show you. All you need to do is set one corner in the paper trimmer there, and your other piece right there, and you just score it right down the middle. So very easy to do. And I'm going to be using that patterned side to this paper. You know, it's so much fun to create because you can change the entire look of a card just by swapping out what you have in your craft room. Um, and it just makes it so much fun. Oh, I had my bone fold around. Let me see if I can grab another one. Um, it makes it so much fun to be creative and just to use what you have. Try out different patterns. Try out different card styles. It just makes it so much fun, I think. Um, so we want to, and I'm actually looking at my sample also <laughs> to make sure I do this the right way. <laughs> and I'm looking at Kim's. <laughs> anyway, so you want your flap to tuck behind your solid piece here. So which side? I think we, I since I'm using more of the Lemon Line Twist and Lemon Lolly, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that side. Okay, so let me grab out my glue. I love the multi-purpose glue. And I think you want a little wiggle room for this anyway. If you live in the Southwest Washington region, I am getting back to in-person classes, which has me super excited. And my first one is June 21st at 10 a.m. in Woodland, Washington. Um, so I have it on my on my Facebook page. The event is posted. Um, you all know how to get a hold of me. So by all means, please let me know if you want to attend. Anyway, 
just that easy. Now let's go ahead and put this on our lemon lime twist here on the back. And I think that's, you know, I'm, I'm saying the name. It's in one of the new colors. I'm actually going to double check myself. I'm pretty confident it's lemon lime twist, but sometimes I go back and watch my own videos and I'm like, hmm, that wasn't the name of that. It is lemon lime twist. <laughs> So let's go ahead. We're going to adhere this piece on this cardstock here. And I, if I didn't tell you, this is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And of course, I will have this all photographed and blogged for you. And you can add a sentiment to the inside. You could pop some balloons in there. Lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun things you can do to the inside. So you can see our card is already coming together. So I did this one balloon here. I did stamp it, but I think then I didn't like how the other balloons fit on it. Um, I think I needed the happy birthday up a little higher. So we're going to restamp that one together. So I'm just going to grab a piece of basic white here. This oh, this is piece is kind of long. I don't need one that long. Let me see if I can grab this. Here's one. I have a whole bag of scraps over here. And let me show you how I did that. So there's two stamps. We have this one here, which just gives the little stars and speckles and whatnot. And then we have the solid image here. So let me show you how easy this comes together. And, oh, good. I do have a piece of scrap paper tucked in there. Let's go ahead and do the speckled one first. And I absolutely love this bright blue Azure afternoon. It is quickly becoming one of my favorites. So I'm going to use this one full strength here. Get all the ink on there. Press down and lift straight up. Then let's go ahead and grab this more solid image and I'm going to tap, just tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to stamp off once. Oh, I don't know what that is right there. I think we're going to do this one again. Let me go ahead and grab a piece of paper. I've got a little, picked up must have a little piece of lint or something. I don't know if you can see right there. And it did not give me the image I want when I stamped off. So we're going to do that again. Let me see here. There we go. Let's stamp this off. So you can see how dark this is when it's full strength, right? It's a beautiful bright blue color, but it's too bright for what I want. It's just not the image I want. And I'm going to stamp down. And you can see it just made it up just a little bit, I don't know, a little bit lighter. Not as overwhelming the color. Now let's go ahead and grab out the happy birthday sentiment and I'm going to continue to use the same color. I'm going to stick with the Azure Afternoon. So let me see here. Let's go like this. So if you have not looked at all the designer series paper, you should do that um, just before the end of June because that's when the that's when the sale ends. Okay, so I'm going to just do a little practice stamp there. And I want to bring this up just a little higher. There we go. Happy birthday. It looks a little busy, but I kind of like it. I think it looks kind of fun and festive and I don't know. I like it. You could leave. So this is on this one. I didn't add the speckles. I just did it where I stamped off. And this one I added the speckles. If you heard um, my phone just ring, it's my husband who knows that. I actually do a Facebook Live every Thursday at, um, at 9 and every Thursday. And I've been doing it for a long time. And every Thursday he calls. <laughs> it's so funny. So, all right. So let's go like that. I do like that one better. And then let's go ahead and put the happy birthday up a little higher. I think it looked too busy the other way. Let's go ahead and put this up there. Like that one better. All right, and then we're gonna die cut this. Just give me a second. Let me show you the die I'm gonna use here. 
just this big one here. And I'll just go off screen and then we are going to put this card all together. And it'll be so easy. So sometimes I just use the little sticky note to hold things in place. I am, I love to do the die cuts, but I'm not always good at getting things um, in place. So this helps me. So how's everyone doing? If you watched my Monday video, you know that we are in the midst of allergy season here in Southwest Washington. The flowers are absolutely beautiful. But um, for those of us who <laughs> don't like pollen, <laughs> it's been a tough week. <laughs> Okay, so just this easy. I need to get some new plates. Can you, they're looking a little rough there. Okay, let me move this off to the side and let's put our card together. So I wasn't sure if I just wanted to use the balloons or like that, and I'll add some twine, or if I wanted to put the balloon kind of here on a circle and to see so maybe you all can help me what do you what do you think should i do it with the circle behind it or just the balloon i think i think maybe the circle's making it look a little too busy so i think maybe we'll just do the balloon anyway somebody offer an opinion <laughs> i'm gonna get them glued together regardless and i think i'm just gonna use glue dots this time around just in case I want to move anything. And again, I had all my, I had everything so nice and organized and now, oh, here they are. You know, now I can't find anything. But just in case I want to move anything, I'm just going to use a glue dot here and to make sure I get things exactly where I want them. There we go. So there's one. Just the balloons. I agree, Tammy. I think we're going to do that. Just the balloons. And then I'm going to use another glue dot. Sometimes if you think you might want to move things, and I'm trying to get things lined up like that because I'm going to add some twine. The key to this is, oh, see, this is I do want to move it. Okay, so let me see if I can pick that up a little bit. Um, the key to this is to really get them in place so when you oh let's bring that one down oh i like that because you want your dimensional so your flap can your flap can close like this so you want to put your dimensionals down here so you have room for your flap so let's go ahead and grab the dimensionals and put those on and then we can add some twine and dress up this cart and i just again i'm gonna Put my dimensionals holding these balloons a little bit together because I only use the glue dots on them. So there we go. And I probably am dimensional happy, as you know. I always use so many. But I, you know, I don't like a floppy card. I say that all the time. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and pop this down here. I'm gonna center that balloon. So then you can see how this opens, right? Just like that. Oh, got a little nail polish there. Well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, um, just like that. And then I'm going to grab some twine, which I had sitting out here, to just add to our balloon. And I think I'm just gonna make a big bow like that. Let's see here. I'm gonna put a bow like this. This is crafting on the fly this morning. I think I wanna put a bow there, and then I'm gonna put a bow there. So how cute is that? Isn't that gonna just be adorable? So I really like this envelope or envelope. Um, fun fold, I think it was um, I think it's so creative and so much fun, and you could use it with, like I said, so many different types of DSP. I love to show and share um, different kinds of fun folds and examples you can use with things you already have in your craft room. Um, not that I don't love when you all get the new things, but it's, you know, so much fun to use what we have. So I think I want to put that one like that. And then this one like that. 
Maybe. Do we want to do that? Is that too busy? Maybe we need to just tuck this behind, make the strings come together. We'll just put one bow just like that. I don't know, I'm gonna to have to play around with the bows and figure out exactly how I want them. I think, oh, Lucy's into something. Can you all hear her back there? So anyway, just, um, just the balloons. Yep, okay. So let me see here. Let's figure out what we wanna do with these bows. I think I kind of want them like this but I'm not completely 100% decided, so I think I might play around with it and not actually adhere them yet or just put one in. Yeah, I think I just wanna put one like right there or tuck it in there, just the bow. Let's go ahead and add in our lemon lolly and our very adorable gems that we colored. And here will be today's card. So how fun and easy is this? Oh, you know, now I think I just, maybe I should have put the gems down there. I think I'm going to have to redesign my balloons, but I actually love, love, love this layout. I would love to hear, hi Mary Ellen. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Oh, it sounds like Lucy said hello too. So let me know what you think about those bows. Leave some, leave some comments for me and let me know how you think about the bow placement if they, they should just be strings like the balloons are flying put a bow maybe just put the gems down there at the bottom i need some input i need some input from my friends so there's my first one this is the wonderful card i received from kim kim plays with paper this is just your general one and this is the father's day one so thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I have to play around with this one. This is what happens when you try and design on the fly. Anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Um, I will see you Monday over on YouTube.